So this is my Warco WM250V lathe and I absolutely love it. Uh, I've had it quite a few years now. Now I remember before I bought it, I was trying to justify to myself, do I really need it? What am I gonna do with it? What am I gonna make with it? But now I've got it, I really wouldn't be without it. It's a nice hobby sized lathe. You know, it's a step up from your mini lathes, but it's not a massive, really super heavy, awkward to move around gear head, but somewhere in between. Uh, it's fantastic, it's got the variable speed drive on this. You've got um, obviously your automatic feed that way, but also you've got the cross feed as well. That's automatic on a different option on one of the levers down here. Uh, it came with a three jaw chuck, the four jaw self uh, centering chuck, and then the face plate as well. Um, and it's been absolutely brilliant. However, recently I've had some trouble just ejecting the tool. So the way this works is when you wind this all the way back in, um, there's a piece of the thread sticks out and it pushes the back of the tang of your, whatever you happen to have in there, something like that, whatever your Morse taper is. Well, actually, that doesn't have much of a tang on it, but it pushes on the back of there and it ejects the tool. Now, I can't be absolutely sure, but I think maybe it was starting to stick a little bit in here, but whatever it was, I was really struggling to push it out. So I just kept turning this and eventually it kind of felt like something was giving but the tool wasn't coming out, something else was going wrong. And I figured out what it is. Um, so let me take this out and I'll show you because we need to fix it. So here's the part that holds the taper and I have given that a really good clean in there and I've cleaned all the tapers on there. Um, but hopefully that's that sorted out but it's still what it's actually done. You can see there, you've got either this, I don't know if that's brass or bronze, hoping it's bronze, it feels a bit tougher. Uh, but anyway, um, that's the thread, and that's supposed to be, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be flush with that, and the way it's held in, it's just that little flat, I don't know what that is, maybe an M5 screw in there, that goes into that thread in there and into there, but that's the only thing holding it and stopping it being pushed out when you're trying to force a tool in, uh, or force the, the tool out the end of here, sorry. Um, and I look, it looks like what has happened, it's jumped out, it's damaged those threads and it's basically pushed this out. Uh, now I've been trying, because it's a little flat headache, I think it's um, it's got um, Loctite on it or something like that. I've really struggled to get that to come undone, it just seems to want to chew up. So what I think I need to do is get that out, um, have a look at that thread, might get away with it, might get away with just seating it back down and then just putting another little, maybe an M5 grub screw in or something like that. Um, I did have a look at the manual and it actually shows two screws, but clearly they've decided they can get away with one. But uh, yeah, it's maybe not quite strong enough in all situations. So I need to get this out and then figure out my plan. Now I've got to be a bit careful because this is a precision outer diameter and that's ground or it's certainly polished or something because that's got to slide and be a really good fit in the tailstock. Um, but if you try and get this out, It just wants to chew the screw up. Uh, nope. Now, if it is Loctited in there, I could heat this, but I'm very worried about doing some damage or you know, changing the shape of this maybe, or uh, I don't know. I'm just not sure I like the sound of that. So what I might end up doing is trying to carefully drill that out and get that out of there. Uh, and then we can take it out and have a look whether I can get another one in you know, the one over here, say, because you've got a um, got the groove there, down there, which is the anti-rotation groove, some kind of pin that sits in there so it doesn't rotate when you're drilling, say. Um, yeah, I think I might have to do that. Right, let's see if we can set it up on the drill and see if we can drill that out. Okay, we've just about got enough travel so we can get a small drill in there, it's a centre drill, um, so we'll just uh, put a little hole in there, get that started, and uh, see if we can get a 3 mil twist drill in there, see if we can take it out. Three mil and mil in there. Let's see how we get on with that. Yeah. 
and it's so tall. too much so I've got it in some V blocks so hopefully that's a bit better. Right let's unlock it. So I might have rescued that. Let's see what we got. Oh, caught something. Right at the bottom there, so what I might do, I'll run the M4 tap down it. Oh, well, that was a result. Um, that was the last of it. Okay, success. Okay, you might just be able to see down there. Sorry about the flicker. Oh. Yeah. Looks clear. Right. Next. Okay, so you may or may not be able to see there, but yeah, the the threads in this part, the bronze bit here, or brass, I think it's bronze, um, are not aligned. There we are. To the threads in the main body. So I'm just wondering if the best thing to do is just get this on the press and just press that flush. Make sure I can run um, a little uh, set screw down there and then have a look and see if there's some real estate to put another one somewhere else. Maybe even two, I don't know. That's probably the best action then. It's got extra support try and stop it backing out in the future. Get that lined up. Hopefully that will just press in. You may not be able to see, but the threads are aligned. All right, so I think we'll get a grub screw in there and then have a look at putting one more in. Just chasing that thread out to make sure it's all clear. Get this one in. I'll probably end up lock tightening it, but for now, I can just go in as it is. Oh, is it just? Uh, 
haven't, haven't over drilled it have they Either get a single longer one or um, grind the base off that, but a bit fiddly to hold. Might order some long, uh, a single long one. Anyway, I'll hold it for now. I just don't want to go through too close to that as a stress razor. Maybe something like that. Do we put three in? I'll mark up for three. Get a grub screw in there. Perfect. Of course, that was the original hole, so I had no, you know, control over the depth of that one. But that one I set, so it would be just under. Hopefully, that will be the same. I couldn't fit the tap into the drill press. Uh, the part's too tall. is what to do about that one. Hmm. Let's see if I can get the th thread any deeper. No, probably not. Let's see if we've got a longer one. Otherwise, I'll have a go at cutting one of these down, but not sure about that. I think what I'll do, I'll put some Loctite on it, I'll screw it in until it's under flush like that. Mm, it's not really going to torque up, is it? Let's see if I've got a longer one. As you can see, I didn't have any uh, longer grub screw, so I just cut a little bolt off and uh, put a little slot head in it. Hopefully that'll be all right, but it's, it's a good length on it. Now I'll back these out and then just put a little bit of tissue in there, just stop the Loctite going there. We're going to Loctite those and then we'll just tighten them down and hopefully that'll be that. Okay, a little bit down the hole. Not too much because I think this hole opens out into the main bore. Turn it upside down in case that's trying to run through. 
Oh, that looks clear. So I'll just leave that for a minute and then we'll go and try on the lathe and hopefully that's fixed it. Okay, and there it is all finished off. So the original only had one screw, so which is a slot head like that. Now I've got three and they're evenly distributed, so hopefully that's a lot stronger. Well, that's one way to find out. Let's put it in. Let's see if it works. Okay, I've got our drill chuck there and you can see the tape is nice and clean. And I've cleaned this out in here, so hopefully that's good. Okay. Suppose what I really need to do is drill and then that will get some real pressure on it. But let's just see if it will pop it out because it wasn't doing that before. Oh yeah, no problem. Let's try again. Oh yeah. All right, well, hopefully that's fixed it for now. And we can get using it again. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little video on just fixing the tail stock on my Walco lathe. Um, yeah, could it be improved? Yeah, turns out it could. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and see you next time. <laughs>